So it's time for one of the biggest handicaps of the season. Next and it's the Welsh Grand National. Uh, three miles and five furlongs. Grade three handicap. And at the top we've got Dawn of the New Age for Joshua Sutherland. Silver Dollar City for Leon Van Rensburg. has also got Banks of the Nile. Nashville Ortega, Vinnie Gerard, R. Ben, David Hooley. Solo Blanc, Craig Allen, Bucco Martin. Then Green Tea, David Hooley. Cozy Breda, David Robertson. San Jose Optimistic, Vinnie Gerard. I do, I do, I do. And Boomerang Aman for Graham Clutterbuck. Christmas Future for James Shea. Bold Ransom, Paul Rhodes. Wizard Martin, Liam. Bella Cheval, James Shea. Charlie Two Shoes, Stu Gray. Shamanel Phantom and Catch over Hassel for Thomas Rogers, inflation stamp for Stu Gray, Ali Oscar Hole, Alex Cherry, and Vive La Rock for Kevin Meenan returning from a season off. And good sized field of 22 for this. This will be a pretty good race. Some top class horses in this, and away they go. And who's going to be the first to show them as they make their way towards the first fence? They take this immediate turn. It's quite a long run to the first. And Dawn of the New Age is just about in the lead. With an inflation stamp on its inside, and now Bold Ransom coming through to take it up. So it looks like Bold Ransom's going to be the one to lead them into the first end for Paul Rhodes, leading by a couple of lengths to Dawn of the New Age and inflation stamp catching over Hassels. Quite well placed. So is Ali Oscar Hole, the grey. I do, I do, I do is also close up there as well, uh, as well as the grey for Kevin Meenahan, Vive La Rock, back from a couple of seasons ago, looking towards the back, Shamadal Phantom. He's towards the back with Bucco and Charlie Two Shoes. Bucco's also really wide on the track as they get to the first. And we see them all over it. They're all safely over the first in the Welsh National. It's only a short run to the second. And Bold Ransom is going to take them over that one in the lead as well. This is the first of the ditches. And over that one they go. And they're all safely over it, although Bucco was a bit ponderous at the back. And Bold Ransom leads into the third. Over the third they all go then. They're all still on their feet after three. With Bold Ransom the leader. And catching over Hassel, four lengths down in second. Then Dawn of the New Age, the top weight is next as they take this. Oh, the leader went right through the top of that one. Nearly paid the ultimate price, but got away with it. And Bold Ransom continues to lead despite that mistake. Ali Oscar Hall is second. Dawn of the New Age is next. Then I do, I do, I do. And catching over Hassel as they get to the next. And Bold Ransom again took a dive at it and was lucky to stay on his feet. So, really taking some liberties with the fences, this leader. And... Comes into the next one, jump that one nicely though. The rest of them get over it okay as well with Green Tea, the new back marker. And Bold Ransom continues to show the way. Dawn of the New Age is second. Ali Oscar Hall is third and catching over Hassel fourth. Then comes I Do, I Do, I Do, and then Chrysalis Future. Charlie Two Shoes is to the four as well. The great cosy breeder in the purple and turquoise closest to us with Bucco just behind him. Stable companion Wizard on that one's inside and Green Tea still just the back marker. But it's Bold Ransom going well on the flat, but not going so well over the fences so far. But still in the lead by three. To Dawn of the New Age and Ali Oscar Hall over Shear in second. I do, I do, I do. The first of the Greys is fourth. Then comes catching over Hassel Inflation. Stamp on the inside for Stu Gray. Then Chrysalis Future. Solo Blanc close up today. Then Cozy Breda and Nashville Ortega and Viva La Rock and Charlie Two Shoes. And then Boomerang Aman as they get over number seven. And they're all over that one okay as well. Although San Jose Optimistic wasn't all that clever over it. And it's Bold Ransom continuing to lead. And as they come down to the eighth, another ditch. And there's a fall of there, something's gone this time, I do, I do, I do, has gone. So I do, I do, I do, he's out of the Welsh National, so that's one of the localish horses that's out of the race then. John Morgan doesn't have any in, so I think Graham Clutterbuck might be flying the Welsh flag on his own now then. We the Boomerang Amant. But they're all over the next one and racing down towards the next fence then. This is going to be number 10. And over that one, Bold Ransom landed him. And there's another faller there. It's Solo Blanc that's gone this time. So Craig Allen has gone. But uh, I don't think he's got another one in it either. So that's Craig Allen out of this race as they get to number 11. That's the midway point in the jumping. They're all safely over that one. We get a look at them from the top of the stand. The rain not pulling off the hardy Welsh race goers. And as they race up this straight, they'll come past the big screen, past the totalisator board, past the winning post, and they'll swing left-handed out for another circuit of the Chepstow track. And Bold Ransom will be the one to take them 
on that journey, leading by about six lengths to Dawn of a New Age in second. Cozy Braid has moved up well nicely on the outside. Ali Oscar Hall, Chrysalis Future, catching over Hustle and Inflation Stump still there in that leading group. We just after that, Green Tea has moved through from the back. Viva Rock running a big race so far on his reappearance. Then Banks of the Nile and Charlie Two Shoes and Bucko and Chamberlain Phantom and Boomerang Amon. Then Wizard, Nashville, Ortega, Silver Dollar City, R. Ben, San Jose Optimistic, and finally Bell Chevelle at the back then as they come down towards the next. And it's Bold Ransom who continues to lead by a good five lengths to Dawn of the New Age, the top weight in second. Cozy Brader is third, catching over Hassel is fourth. Then comes Inflation Stamp and Ali Oscar Hall with Chrysalis Future and Green Tea. Viva the Rock going well on the inside as they get over number 12. And over that one they go, they're all safely over that one. With Bold Ransom, sort of is jumping out now in the lead and leads by five to Dawn of the New Age in second. Over that ditch they go. See them all over that one, no mistakes. Nobody put a foot wrong there, they all jumped it really well and it's Bold Ransom. Ransom who gets to the next in the lead gets over it nicely and they're all over there that one as well with Bold Ransom still the leader from Dawn of a New Age second the Greys are now coming on the outside as they get to the 15th and a mistake there by Ali Oscar Hall has seen that one just drop down the pack a little bit but it's still Bold Ransom who's led all the way so far Dawn of a New Age running a big race under a big weight then the first of the Greys Cozy Breda with Viva La Rock the next one is outside made a mistake there though Viva La Rock Bucco's now trying to get into it then comes Green Tea Charlie Two Shoes is still there and Banks of the Nile's also getting closer as they get to them. Bold, bold Ransom made a mistake again there now and has handed the lead to Dawn of the New Age. It's Dawn of the New Age. They're well inside the final mile. And Dawn of the New Age, the top weight, has taken the lead. Bold Ransom is in second. Four length gap back to catching over Hassel. Bucko coming through on the outside. Then Banks of the Nile, Cozy Brader, Charlie Two Shoes, Viva La Rock, Green Tees. Next, plenty of chances if they can get to this leading pair. It's Dawn of the New Age. Bold Ransom. Here comes comes Banks of the Nile now throwing down a big challenge in third. After that one comes catching over Hassel Inflation Stamps running a big race. Then Green Tea, Chrysalis Future, Nashville Ortega, Viva La Rock, Bucco Court really wide. But it's Banks of the Nile who's now gone on. Banks of the Nile takes it up. Still got five more fences to take though. And Banks of the Nile is 3-4 clear. Banks of the Nile shot foam already being chased by Dawn of the New Age. Silver Donna City's over it in third. Then comes Green Tea, Nashville Ortega, Ali Oscar Hall was a faller. Coming down towards the Final four fences then there. And it's Banks of the Nile over the fourth last in the lead from Silver Dollar City in second. Then Green Tea, Nashville Ortega and Dawn of the New Age still there. Also trying to run again. Cozy Brader, Boomerang and Marne is now getting into it. They've still got three to jump. And it's Banks of the Nile over the third last in the lead. Silver Dollar City second. Dawn of the New Age, Nashville Ortega, Cozy Brader is still making ground. Boomerang and Marne is still there. Also trying to run on his Christmas future over the second last they go. And it's Banks of the Nile in the lead but he's beginning to slow. Banks of the Niles in front. Here comes Dawn of the New Age, the top weight. Nashville Ortega, Cozy Brain, a boomerang of Mar. Over the final fence they go. And Banks of the New Age has landed in the lead. It's Dawn of the New Age from Nashville Ortega. Here comes Boomerang of at the centre of the track. It's Dawn of the New Age. Nashville Ortega, Boomerang of Mar. It's a close one as they race up towards the line. And now the top weight sticking his neck out. And Dawn of the New Age is going to take it. What a victory for Dawn of the New Age. Nashville Ortega second. San Jose Optimistic from nowhere was third. And the top weight in the rain would not be denied after it took the, took the lead over the final fence. And that is a pretty impressive performance with top weight over three miles and five furlongs. And quite a few never really got into it at the end of the race, but it was a thrilling finish. About six of them in with a chance over the last and Dawn of the New Age giving weight away to everybody takes it for Joshua Sutherland, Nashville Ortega for Vinnie Gerald was second who also took third with San Jose Optimistic who never had a look in for the entire race until right at the end Boomerang Amand for Graham Clutterbuck was fourth and Banks of the Nile did that one go just a little bit too soon for Leon Van Rensburg back in fifth